A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. The number of restaurant chains that have filed for bankruptcy this year grew on Wednesday after BurgerFi International filed for Chapter 11 protection. The company said it filed for Chapter 11 reorganization to preserve the value of its BurgerFi and Anthony's coal-fired pizza and wings brands for all stakeholders. Only its corporate-owned BurgerFi and Anthony's coal-fired pizza and wings restaurants are included in the bankruptcy proceedings, it said. There are 17 and 50 of those, respectively. BurgerFi's petition was filed in the U.S. Bankruptcy Court for the District of Delaware. Chief Restructuring Officer Jeremy Rosenthal said the company's need to file for Chapter 11 arose amid a drastic decline in post-pandemic consumer spending amidst sustained inflation and increasing food and labor costs, according to a press release. BurgerFi, seeking to improve its business, launched an extensive turnaround effort last year. CEO Carl Bachman said legacy challenges also necessitated today's filing despite the company having seen early positive indicators of the turnaround plan initiated less than a year ago. In its filing, BurgerFi estimated a range of $50 to $100 million for its assets. Estimated liabilities were $100 to $500 million. The company was confident the bankruptcy process will allow us to protect and grow our brands, and to continue the operational turnaround started less than 12 months ago and secure additional capital, according to Rosenthal. In the meantime, customers can expect corporate and franchised restaurants to remain open as usual, BurgerFi said. Franchisees operate 76 BurgerFi restaurants and one Anthony's location. Other restaurant chains that have entered Chapter 11 bankruptcy this year include Roti, Buca di Beppo, Rubio's Coastal Grill, Red Lobster and Tijuana Flats. Just last week, Red Lobster received court approval to exit bankruptcy. Jonathan Carson, co-CEO of bankruptcy services and technology firm Stretto, told Fox Business last week that 17 operating companies and large franchisees in the restaurant industry have filed for Chapter 11 so far this year. Breck Dumas contributed to this report. BurgerFi filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on Tuesday, less than a month after it warned investors it had substantial doubt about its ability to operate. The company joins the growing list of restaurant chains that have resorted to bankruptcy to turn around their businesses, from Red Lobster to Buca di Beppo. Broadly, the restaurant industry has seen chains, independents and franchisees alike struggle with declining traffic and high interest rates. BurgerFi, known for its higher quality burgers, was founded in 2011. It went public in 2020 through a deal with a special purpose acquisition company, which briefly became a popular alternative to a traditional IPO due to their speed and reduced regulatory scrutiny. Months later, the company bought Anthony's coal-fired pizza and wings for $156.6 million. BurgerFi has assets of $50 million to $75 million and total debts of $100 million to $500 million, according to a bankruptcy filing. For the quarter ended April 1st, BurgerFi reported revenue of $42.9 million and a net loss of $6.5 million. Same store sales at its namesake burger chain tumbled 13%. Across its two brands, the company has 162 restaurants, roughly half of which are run by franchisees, as of April 1st. Fort Lauderdale, Florida The national fast casual burger chain BurgerFi has filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy according to a news release from the business. BurgerFi also owns the casual dining chain Anthony's coal-fired pizza and wings. The news release says bankruptcy filing includes only the 67 corporate-owned locations of both brands and franchisee-owned locations are excluded. Overall, there are 144 locations of both brands. BurgerFi and Anthony's coal-fired pizza and wings are dynamic and beloved brands. And in the face of a drastic decline in post-pandemic consumer spending amidst sustained inflation and increasing food and labor costs, we need to stabilize the business in a structured process, Jeremy Rosenthal, chief restructuring officer of BurgerFi International Incorporated, said in a statement. The company says all of its locations will continue to operate normally during the reorganization. The chain has two locations in Northeast Ohio, in Cuyahoga Falls and Strongsville, according to its website. CNBC reports the bankruptcy filing shows BurgerFi has assets of $50 million to $75 million and total debts of $100 million to $500 million. 
It reported revenue of $42.9 million and a net loss of $6.5 million for the quarter that ended on April 1st. CNN reports Burger Fist stock has dropped more than 80% this year and was trading for just 14 cents a share on Wednesday. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.